Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to bind multiple tables into a single data grid view control from MySQL PHP My Admin database. And here we got the output. Notice the C name is a column name from the country, S name column name from the state, and the city name is a column name from the city table is binded into a single data grid view control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the Windows template, I am selecting Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is multiple tables bind mysql click ok and here the project is successfully created let me expand this form one design page now in this form one design page i am adding one data grid view control open toolbox i'm expanding the data folder the data grid view control i'm adding That's it, we have done the designing part. Now my aim is using joins, I want to combine multiple tables into a single data grid view control. Now double click the form on design page. It will generate the form one load event. First thing I'm adding the namespaces using system dot configuration. System dot configuration namespace is user to get the connection string values from the app.config file but in windows application by default the system.configuration is not included in our project references folder open solution explorer i am expanding the references folder notice there is no any system.configuration let's add that one right click the references add reference in the assemblies framework, search for the system.configuration, select the checkbox, click OK. And here the system.configuration is added. Now the next namespace, I want to add mysql.data.dll library. By default, it's not included in our project references folder. Notice there is no any mysql.data.dll library. Let's add that library in this project references folder. I click the references, manage nudget packages, click that one. Switch to the browse, search for MySQL, enter. And from the search results, select the MySQL.data, install. Okay. I accept the license and here we got the message successfully installed mysql.data the version is 8.013 into your project folder let's close this output message box switch to the code behind we'll check the system.mysql.data is added in our references folder let's add this namespace using mysql.data.mysql client after adding these two namespaces now in the form load event we'll write the code to bind the multiple tables into a data grid view control but before writing the coding part first we have to include our mysql connection string in the app.config file let's add the connection string open solution explorer and minimizing the references folder app.config open the one in the app.config file between configuration and adding connection strings add name is equals to my SQL connection is my connection string name connection string data source is equals to localhost port number 
to find the port number of my sql php my admin 3306 Double three zero six initial catalog is equals to the initial catalog. I'm adding the database name. My database name is the sample GB. The next one is a user ID, which is a root default username, and the password is empty. I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin. If you have any password, please enter that one. And the last one is very important SSL mode is equal to none. After adding the connection string in the app.config file, let's copy this connection string name, switch to the code behind string main com is equal to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my SQL connection string dot connection string my SQL connection SQL con is equal to new my SQL connection I am adding this main con object after that string SQL query Here the SQL query I'm writing the select statement using inner joins. So before writing the statement, let's check the tables in my SQL PHP my admin database. For this demo purpose, I'm using the country. The country table contains two columns, CID and senior. And the second table is the state. This state table contains three columns SID, state ID, state name, and CID. When we want to join multiple tables, the one column must be common between the tables. If you notice, the state table contains CID, and in the country table, also we have, we have a CID column. And the last table is a city. Let's browse that one. And the city table contains three columns city id city name and sid and the sid from the city table and sid from the state table both are common so let's join these three tables into a single data grid view control using inner joins let's switch to the windows forms we'll finish the rest of the code select cname is a column name from the country table comma s name is a column name from the state table comma city name is a city city name is a column name from the city table from country t1 in the join state t2 here the t1 and t2 are the alias names of the table here the T1 is the alias name for the country table and T2 is the alias name for the state table on T1 dot CID is equals to T2 dot CID. Notice here the T1 is a country table, T2 is a state table. In both tables the common column is the CID. In the joint city T3 is the alias name for the city table on T2 dot SID is equals to T3 dot SID. The T2 is a state table and T3 is a city table. In the state and city table, the common column name is a SID. That's it, we have written the statement to join multiple tables. Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL my SQL command SQL com is equals to new my SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query 
and the second one is a connection object which is this SQL call my SQL data adapter SDA is equal to new my SQL data adapter I'm adding the SQL com object data table dt is equals to new data table sda dot fill I'm filling with data table object let's bind the data source data grid view one dot data source is equals to dt let's close the connection sql con dot close method that's it we have written the complete coding part to join multiple tables into a single data grid view control let's check the results start and here we got the output notice the c name is a column name from the country s name column name from the state and the city name is a column name from the city table is binded into a single data grid view control that's it